Hello everyone, I am myself Dr. Deepthi Karya and today we will discuss about red blood cell fragility. Before starting my class, I would like to inform you all that you will get all my lecture notes in soft copy and hard copy. To get the soft copy, you have to download the application Vesalius and you have to get the course. And for hard copy, you can uh, order my book that is Physiology Notes which is available on Flipkart as well as Amazon. Link for the hard copy as well as soft copy both are given in the description box. Now, let us start our today's topic that is red cell fragility. Now, what do we mean by fragility of the cell? So today we will discuss that. We will discuss the test for the fragility and what is its use, why we use this fragility test. Okay. Uh, now, before that, we will uh, discuss some terminologies. That is one is osmosis. What do we mean by osmosis? Osmosis means when two solutions, they are separated by semi-permeable membrane. You can see here, this is the semi-permeable membrane or selectively permeable membrane. Why selectively permeable? This membrane is permeable to solvent, not to the solute. Okay, so what happens when these two solutions are separated by semi-permeable membrane, which is permeable to solvent only. So what happens? This solvent, it passes from hypotonic solution. Hypotonic means high solvent, low solute concentration to hypertonic solution. This is osmosis. Okay. Now, so here, what is the use of this osmosis in our physiology? Okay. So, suppose uh, RBC membrane also that is semi-permeable. You can see here, this is the cell. And the membrane is semi-permeable. What does it mean? The membrane that is semi-permeable means it is permeable to solvent. Hmm? Now, if we are placing this RBC in the hypotonic solution, what happens? Hypotonic means, what do you mean by hypotonic? Its osmolarity is less than osmolarity, sorry. It is less than plasma. Okay, normally RBCs are placed in the plasma having osmolarity of 270 to 290 milliosmoles per liter. Okay, when we are placing the cell in hypotonic solution, what happens now as we have discussed? In hypotonic, hypotonic means the osmolarity is less than plasma. So what happens? You can see where the fluid moves. You can see here, uh, uh -huh. fluid moves from outside to inside here. Okay, and that results in swelling of the cell. So, cell swells and bursts. Okay. Opposite is also true. If suppose we are placing the RBC in hypertonic solution. What happens? You can see here. This is hypertonic. 20%. This is 10%. So, what happens? The membrane is semi-permeable. So, there is movement of solvent here from cell to outside. So, what happens? RBC gets shrink. Okay. You can see here shrinkage of the cell. Prenated margins are you can find okay so so this is the effect of hypertonic solution then if we are placing the cell in isotonic you can see here morphology of the cell remains same it neither shrink nor swell okay so this is the basis of this fragility test how that we will discuss okay now so another important thing here is if we are placing the cell in hyper or hypotonic solution what happens either fluid moves from inside to outside or outside to inside and that is till the solution or or the concentration becomes equal on both the sides okay this is also one of the uh, prerequisite for osmosis fine again you can see here red blood cell in isotonic solution normal morphology in hypotonic the swell fluid enters inside in hypotonic fluid moves out okay now so these are all the three solutions we are placing the cell now. So here, what is the meaning of red cell fragility? Means susceptibility of the membrane of red cells, okay, to get broken or to get burst. How do this membrane gets broken down? When we are placing the solution in hypo or hyper, okay. So here, susceptibility of the cell to get broken or burst that is identified by the test that is red cell fragility okay 
so the and what is hemolysis it is the process of breaking down of the rbc and when rbcs are broken down hemoglobin is released okay now so this rbc they are fragile because of two things number one is when they are placed in different osmolarity solution so that is osmotic red cell fragility and second is mechanical when they are exposed to mechanical stress okay we will discuss one by one first we will discuss osmotic red cell fragility what is this osmotic red cell fragility okay here as we have discussed it is susceptibility of the rbc membrane to get burst lysed when we are placing it in the solution having different osmolarity okay so here what is the normal value or index of fragility normal value of osmotic fragility red cell fragility okay hemolysis when you can see here there are different test tubes are uh, this made with different osmolarity of the solutions okay and we have to note where the hemolysis starts and where the hemolysis ends so onset of hemolysis that is it starts at 0.48% nacl and it completes at 0.35% nacl okay now the, how the solutions are we are preparing that we will discuss you can see here there are 12 test tubes are formed you can see here and we are making the percentage of normal saline solution 0.1 0.23 0.35 0.4 0.35 0.5, okay like this how can we make you can see here we can take 1% sodium chloride and we have to add that in the distilled water so one portion is sodium chloride and nine that is distilled water okay so you can see here this becomes 0.1 percent same way gradually we are increasing percentage of sodium chloride and decreasing the volume of gradually increases the volume of sodium chloride and decreases the volume of distilled water and we are making different percentage of saline solution now very important thing here normal rbc hemolysis starts from this sixth number test tube that is having the point 40 as we have discussed 48 or point 45 percent nacl okay if the person is having thalassemia this red cell fragility decreases so this starts at 0.3 percent nacl and when the person is having hereditary spherocytosis, this osmotic fragility is increased. That is, it becomes 0.55%. So, we find hemolysis here in hereditary spherocytosis in third test tube in thalassemia. Okay. So, this test is used to diagnose two conditions, thalassemia and hereditary spherocytosis. Other conditions are also there in which osmotic fragilities are abnormal so osmotic you can see here in all the test tubes having different percentage of nacl we are adding uh, normal uh, we are adding uh, blood drop okay uh, heparinized blood drop so that will not clot and we have to measure that at which percentage nacl solution you find osmotic uh, you find the hemolysis okay so what is abnormal osmotic fragility Increase the osmotic fragility that is fine as I told you in hereditary spherocytosis. Other conditions are autoimmune hemolytic anemia when there is deficiency of G6PD glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So these three conditions hereditary spherocytosis, autoimmune hemolytic anemia and G6PD deficiency. Okay. Now. Uh, other conditions are also they lead to increase in the osmotic fragility that is antivalerial drugs and cobra venom and venom of other insects okay because of that what happens that uh, this venom uh, they contain uh, this it contains lecithinase sorry lecithinase enzyme and this dissolves lecithin from the red cell membrane and because of that the red cell membrane becomes more fragile okay now other than the other thing that is decreasing the osmotic fragility index and that is found in iron deficiency anemia and in thalassemia okay in this situation in iron deficiency anemia hemolysis start at 0.36 percent nacl and it is completed at 0.24 percent nacl solution okay That's all. now so this is all about osmotic red cell fragility second that is mechanical red cell fragility so here what happens red cells they are subjected to mechanical stress like trauma when they pass through trabeculae of the spleen or capillaries of the spleen and they are made brittle because of this unusual 
stress okay so this another thing this mechanical red cell fragility is also found in pathological conditions where the membrane of the rbc has some changes some disorders in the membrane and that results in mechanical destruction of rbc the red blood cells they become mechanically more tolerable to the stress when they are normal as compared to when the cell abnormalities are there so this is mechanical red cell fragility okay so this is all about red cell fragility uh, and you can get all my notes in soft copy and hard copy to soft copy to get the soft copy download the application and get the course vesalius and for hard copy you can order my book that is physiology notes available on flipkart and amazon uh, and uh, you can get all my uh, topics in hard copy also okay thank you so much if you like my video you can like it you can share with all your friends and subscribe our channel thank you